Good afternoon. My name is Greg Hanch. I serve as executive director of NAMI Texas, which is the Texas affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. My testimony is in support of HB 727. NAMI Texas is dedicated to building better lives for the millions of Texans affected by mental illness. We have 27 local NAMI affiliate organizations across the state and approximately 1,700 members made up primarily of individuals and families who, whose lives have been affected by mental illness. HB 727 would create a narrow exemption from capital punishment for individuals with certain severe mental illnesses at the time of their offense. The exemption would only apply to individuals who had active psychotic symptoms that substantially impair the person's capacity to appreciate the nature, nature consequences, or wrongfulness of their conduct or exercise rational judgment in relation to their conduct. It would only apply to individuals with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or schizoaffective disorder. If convicted, the only other sentence available to a defendant who receives this exemption would be life without parole. In considering this proposal, it's important to understand the nature of the mental health conditions covered. The three conditions are discrete medical conditions diagnosable under the standard diagnostic tool in the mental health field, the DSM. Schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder affect less than 1% of the adult population. Bipolar disorder affects less than 3%. The common thread among these three diagnoses is that their symptoms often, but not always, include psychotic features, meaning loss of touch with reality. This means one of two things, hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that aren't there, or delusions, which are false beliefs. <clears throat> these, illnesses are, uh, these illnesses marked by these features, while treatable, can be profoundly disabling without proper treatment. An individual's ability to engage in school, work, family, or life itself is often compromised. Furthermore, these, these illnesses can push an individual into the criminal justice system. Over 50% of prisoners in the Texas prison system have a mental illness diagnosis. We've made great strides as a, as a state to strengthen community-based care, early psychosis interventions, and criminal justice diversion initiatives, but our work to build up a person-centered, highly accessible mental health system is far from complete and our state's jails and prisons are far too often used as warehousing entities for the most severely ill Texans. So it's a bit unusual for NAMI Texas to be advocating for a bill that would keep a segment of the severely ill population behind bars. Usually we support getting people out of that setting and into treatment. But the small population of people that we are here for today are those guilty of capital murder who meet the very, very narrow ex exemption criteria established by the bill. We support holding them accountable. We support justice for the victims and the victims' families. What we cannot support is a capital punishment paradigm in this state that ignores the fundamental nature of severe mental illness. Executing a person for a crime committed while they were actively psychotic flies in the face of brain science's modern understanding of severe mental illness. It disregards, disregards what we know about the lives of people like Andre Thomas, who has su suffered from severe mental illness throughout his deeply traumatized life and who clearly falls well short of meeting the Supreme Court's competency standard for execution. I uh, am happy to explain the mechanics of the, of the bill in greater detail. I would also like to note the bill promotes a more efficient use of public resources. Uh, while the long and onerous and expensive process plays out of trying to execute a person with severe mental illness, the victim's family waits in limbo, not knowing what the punishment will look like for years and sometimes for decades. In conclusion, HB 727 provides Texas an opportunity to better serve the purpose of justice as it relates to capital crimes. It is broadly supported by stakeholders in the mental health, disability, and faith communities. I thank you for giving me the time to speak in support of the bill. Great. Thank you very much. Members, do we have any questions?